Here's my two cents review on her. The first thing I'm going to talk about is what I'm curious about. And I'm just wondering if this film is going to t stand the test of time from like, say, 10 years from now. I think it's a brilliant film now. But what about when the new technology in the future catches up to this movie? It's almost like watching uh, two Kubrick's 2001 now, which I think. I don't know. It's a little bit of a flawed film because I think that today, because I think it was brilliant when people first watch it, even though I wasn't born then, when people first watch it back then, because it was talking about the future of technology. And I'm just curious if this movie is going to lose its charm uh, in the future when the basically when the future catches up, the future's themes catches up with the film's themes in this film. Of course, uh, perhaps 2001 is a bad example, as her is a far different film. And probably has a lot more layers and charm than 2001. Sorry, Kubrick fan, fans. But will the heart and soul of her be enough to hold up for future generations to come? I'm just curious about that because I think this is a great film now and it's kind of a perfect film now. No other film I've watched in the last five years has stayed with me longer than her. There is so much happening that I can relate with in this film that I was left wondering if this is the best film of 2000, uh, 2013. Um, the best thing about this film is that it doesn't make a distinct judgment on technology and people in today's world. Uh, the amazing thing about his relationship with the operating system is that she's very good for him. And she's smart. She listens. She stands up for herself. She gives him confidence on his writing. And she gives she helps him organize his thoughts and feelings. But he gives back to her as well. She make He makes her learn and makes her ponder as well so it's kind of like a kind of like a, a real kind of good relationship between the two of them they talk about their thoughts and feelings and they're there for each other of course it's an operating system and there is that human element missing the os that's what they call them is uh the perfect partner perhaps too perfect or perhaps not that's the question in this film i think the great thing about this film is that is that there is no judgment about if the OS is bad for people or not. Some people will go away thinking of this movie uh, gives that theory. Some people will go away giving the movie gives the opposite theory that perhaps this is the new world and we're going to be better and more evolved when we deal with more evolved operating systems. Um, that's the question about this movie. And Spike Jones, who I love his movies, and he takes a lot of time in the editing room. He usually takes almost like a year and a half, sometimes two years to edit a movie because he wants to make sure every moment counts. And he give, he's, he's gotten that freedom to, to take that long. Most directors don't have that freedom because they have to, they, there's like, as soon as the movie goes into production, there is a date when that movie is going to come out and, and uh, be distributed to, to the media. So usually they have like a certain time in post-production that they have to get the movie done. Spike Jones doesn't have that problem, which is great for him. Casting is perfect in this movie. I can't imagine, I think I always look at like what a great movie is and I can't imagine another person playing um, uh, the lead character in the Joaquin Phoenix, he has that vulnerability and charm and lovability factor inside of him. I love the art direction in this movie, like kind of like the future world. Every, everybody's got their, they're like old men. <laughs> everybody's got their, um, their pants up, up, up beyond their, uh, belly button. Uh, the, there isn't that sexuality within the female characters as well as there is today where they're actually wearing clothes that are probably better protected for themselves instead of like a sexual element. It's almost like the sexual element has been taken away from, from the, this, this not too distant future, which I find interesting And Skyland for Johansson playing the OS voice is kind of like a brilliant touch. And She's very good in this film, but of course she won't get any recognition in terms of awards because we don't see her and <laughs> she's an operating system. And of course, critics in today's world will, won't stand for having her being nominated because she doesn't have a performance. And that's the movie and it's terrific. I hope everybody goes to see it because it's got that kind of a certain kind of feeling that that it's a kind of the perfect movie for 2013. That's my review.